Hello everyone! This is Dynamite Man here, and welcome to the rehash of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I figured while I was editing the last two episodes of Earthbound, I would start another project here, just because I kind of need something to start up. And as you know, this game was actually started long before Earthbound even started, so I thought I would just reboot it and try to get things going with it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to name myself here, or name my file. As you guys know, my name is Dynamite Man. And that's not going to fit, so I'll just put in Dynamite. Alright, let's begin this adventure. This will be a OP run of this game. I'm just going to play like I normally do. Um, and try to get the super suit at the end. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. I'll be explaining on how to play as I normally do. It'll be like that other project didn't exist after a while. <coughs> <Ugh. clears throat> Alright, we're going to start this adventure off by going to save the princess again. Because we do, we say princesses again. Oh my gosh, this has got to be what the third, fourth time this is happening now. And that that lightning is kind of overwhelming, but whatever. Okay. So starting things off, we are in World Eight Eight already. 8-4. And Bowser's Castle. I'm going to go ahead and skip past these guys because you don't get an experience from them. But this is a mandatory fight, so we're going to be starting with this. Now you have a series of controls here. You have a controller pad-like system around Mario's head here. I'm going to zoom in here just so you have a better look at it. And um, each uh, button corresponds with a different type of action that you, will be, that you can perform during... Uh, the battle sequences of this game, because this is an RPG, uh, uh, it's a turn-based um, system where, you know, you attack and then the enemy at all at once attacks. Not like Final Fantasy where it's running on a meter that determines who's the fastest or anything like that. So down here we have the fence and run in the uh, B sector of the controller you can defend but you can't run from this fight because it's a mandatory fight here we have our specials over in Y uh, as you can see we use uh, what looks like to be flowers in order to uh, perform our specialties and Mario's first special is jump here I'm not going to be showing that off quite yet I'm going to be taking care of a couple of these enemies first before I start showing that off and then up here we have items as you can see we don't have any items whatsoever yet so uh, we can't be using that quite yet either, and there's an explanation for that in just a little, that I can get into in just a little while. And over here we have attack. Right now, um, automatically the uh, when you select uh, selecting attack entails an automatic target, and you can go ahead and move the arrow whenever you want using the left and right and up and down buttons on uh, your D-pad, and the top portion of the little window in the lower right corner there signifies the enemy that you are targeting and underneath that is the type of weapon you'll be using against them and currently we are unarmed. So I'll be taking out this person right here, just press A and one hit kills him. We're going to take a hit from that guy. Let's go ahead and hit this guy right here. And he's gonna, this guy's going to go ahead and attack, that's fine. Now I'm going to be showing off jump here. Um, right now, I'm going to be doing something that's kind of uh, complicated for this part of the game. Um, that's a timed hit. Um, and I'll be explaining more on this in the future. And plus there's a tutorial, surprise, surprise, that shows exactly how these are performed. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and explain jump here first. Um, when you select jump, It'll automatically target just like you would with attack, and after performing, Mario's going to jump into the air. When he reaches at about, oh, the lower one-sixth to one-eighth of uh, his height, you want to press the Y button again to perform the action for that. 
I'll be getting into this in a little bit more detail when we uh, when we actually get into the meat and potatoes of this game. This is just the beginning. Right there. I'll be explaining why I'm doing that later as well. Alright, that's the end of that battle. Right, let's just head this way. Those potables you can't actually fight. They're part of the background. Alright. And, what? What? Mario, that's quite the view you have up there. Is that why you're so surprised? And here we are! The final boss of the game already! Let's take this out! Don't let balls are bruisey, Mario! Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond! Alright, so, we have Bowser unarmed! Our, <laughs> this is Bowser, and he has, surprisingly, infinity HP. You cannot defeat Bowser. You will not be able to whatsoever if you try to attack him. You will just fight him infinitely. If you actually waste a couple turns hitting him, Peach will tell you to attack the Kink Link behind him. So that's what I'm going to do. And as you can see, all of my HP and um, flower points um, recovered. So there we go. <clears throat> no! No! It's a chain reaction! And he's dead already. Ding! Coming, Mario! Uh, that's not fighting. Why would you fight? And apparently we saved it. They should finish you! And a la 8-4 Bowser, he throws hammers here, which is really strange. And he's crying. Anime crying. Did you think I was just going to give her to you? Yes, yes, always. For the fourth time. Funga. Shriek! I always thought that was funny. The shriek. It's not like in parentheses or anything. It's just, Shriek! And Excalibur falls from the sky. If you thought I was going to make a Skyward Sword reference, you were wrong. And title screen. La 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 la. You would think someone would have gotten impaled by that thing. And what appears to be stars falling out of the sky. Seriously, Mushroom Kingdom takes things way too literally. Stars aren't stars, they're balls of light. Anyway. <clears throat> Toad appears to have uh, wanted to come and visit me. Ho, ho, ho. Went down the pipe. There are two Marios. No, no. That's just a change of clothes. Hey, Mario! Lots of people use something called the door to go in and out of their houses. Hello! Anyway. Ow, that hurts. I hate doing that voice. Alright. Now we are in a room of some sort. Also, Mario lives by himself, and there's no way that he was hanging from that thing. In order to get down, though, you have to just press the jump button, which is B, of course. So. Also. Right. Let's talk to you. Blah, 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 blah. Where is she? Um, I'm a silent protagonist. That's how I am. I'm not telling you a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? This is save block. This is how you save. Press A here. Dynamite. Mario's pad. Level 1. Oh, 
Uh, just as a quick reference, um, as far as like leveling up is concerned, I will be getting to the max of level 30 in this game, so just be aware of that. <coughs> if I'm not explaining something to you, uh, not explaining something, that means that by trial and error you should be able to figure it out. I'm going to be pointing out mainly tips and how to fight to your be to the best content of this, um, to, to, to your best potential. And mouth flapping powers initiate? And he destroys the bridge with his mouth. And he has no nose. He has no nose. That's probably why he did that, because, you know, he was jealous of Mario's epic nose. Anyway, let's go ahead back to Mario's path. There's nothing else we could do, and... Toad? 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 Dude, what the hell? You can't just walk into my house! Dude, fucking knock! No? What happened then? And because Mario can't talk, he shows Toad what's going on. The bridge of Bowser's Keep is out now? Just wonderful. Oh yeah, I'd like to see you do something about it, you freaking fungus! Anyway, so apparently we gotta inform the Chancellor of what's going on. Alright, Excuse you? Toad reduced my HP level. Think about that for a second. Mushroom Kingdoms. Apparently you can't get this anywhere but the Mushroom Kingdom. Yes, I have. I know how to use items. If you played any RPG, you know how to use items. It's pretty well, it's pretty easy to use items in this game. Believe me. Can you tell me something? Um, do I know about time hits? Well, yes, I do, but for the sake of this LP, I'm going to be saying no. Alright, we're going to press A here. And actually, he doesn't tell you, but you want to press A again. Because he attacks. Ow! A Goomba hit me. Press A again to attack. Thanks. Wait a second. Hit A again here. Then you just want to press A when he, to advance the di uh, the dialogue, and then um, you'll automatically time the hit. All right. And right here, when his mouth is closed, you want to press A again to block his attack. So there are two types of two types of attack um, timing here. You have for your attack and for your defense. It won't always work. Uh, that's right. When you're, it depends on whether or not stars appear on the character or not. Whether or not you'll be able to block them. I think it's if stars appear, you won't be able to block it. I'll, I'll, I'll look that up and try to fix that in editing. All right, we're gonna jump here. And like I said, as he hits. Whereas Mario reaches at about one eighth, or one sixth of one eighth of the height of his jump, you want to press Y again, and you'll advance your uh, special. It'll become more powerful, as Toad is saying. Yeah, you learn sp more special skills as you gain experience, and if you actually, well, yeah, I'll, I'll read about them. I'll, I'll check that out in just a minute. This is a heavy, heavy tutorial-based part. Now, I'll get into the meat and potatoes of that later. Yeah, why did you rush back anyway? Yeah, yeah, I, I was aware of that. That's you left running saying that. But he's going to give us three mushrooms so we're safer. All right, now quit. You press X in order to get into your menu, and you have a series of different uh, sub-menus within. Uh, first of all, this main screen, you can see that you, we have Mario on the left there with his level and his HP. His max HP is, of course, on the right, and on the left is the current HP that he has. On the lower right, you have Flowers Coins and Frog Coins. We'll be getting into what Frog Coins are a little bit later, just bear with me. 
Flowers are the amount of power SP that you have in this game, which is the equivalent of MP in any other game. This is a Nintendo Square product, so this is heavily influenced by Final Fantasy. Coins, of course, are your currency. If we enter the items, you can see that the items that we have, we could actually go in and, you know, use items if we want. You select an item with A, drag it over to the character that you want to use it on, and use it there. I'm not going to be using one right now because I have other means of healing. Just believe me. And here we have status. Status is, of course, typical of any RPG. You can see your speed, attack, defense, whatever. Um, but instead of having special attack and special defense, or magic, or wisdom and spirit, we have magic attack and magic defense, which is basically your special. Uh, magic attack is how well you do your special attacks, and magic defense is how well you guard against uh, other enemies uh, special. Current experience on the bottom there. We currently don't have any experience in the game at all. Next level, we will be well, we will be leveling up at 16 experience points. Very nice. Special, we have, um, right now we only have one character and he only has one special. That's jump. Jump is an element in this game. Keep that in mind. It's an element like fire, ice, and lightning and other elements that we will be going over later. <coughs> um, Mario will learn a new technique at level 3, and it's kind of important that you remember what levels they learn certain moves, because uh, you'll be able to gauge on what level you should be at. I will be keeping mind, uh, reminding uh, you other players when or what level you should be at in order to take out a certain, bo certain bosses in the game. Alright, and if you press A, you can actually get into the special and it'll tell you how to use that special, so you're not always lost. There is something that uh, I would like to talk about here, but first let me explain the top there on the lower right corner underneath flowers. We have flowers, flower use three. It costs three FP to use jump. Keep that in mind. It's a fairly cheap spell to use. Underneath magic power 25. This move, when I was a kid growing up, I did not know this, but the more you use jump, the more powerful it becomes. Every two times you use it, the magic power of jump increases by one or two points. Keep this in mind. You will be doing a ton of damage later in the game if you follow this. Alright, right here we have equips. We don't have anything for equips. We're actually pretty squishy right now, so keep that in mind. Special items. We've got nothing in here. This is just basically our key items. Alright, now we're ready to continue on with the adventure. I'm going to enter the pipe house before we go, though. And we're going to go take a nap. So what we want to do is take a nap. You want to go to this lamp here. And press A. And Mario will take a nap in his bed. This is free. I don't have anything to worry about. Mario makes snot bubbles when he sleeps. And you press jump to get out of bed. And we've healed all our flowers and all our HP. You don't have to spend any of those mushrooms in order to get to this point. So you saved yourself a mushroom. You have four mushrooms in your inventory, and I just showed you how to do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and save real quick. And next time on Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, we will be entering the first area in order to go and form the Chancellor of Princess Peach's Kidnapping. Take care, y'all.